So how I got started into YouTube was back in 2020 when the lockdown happened and everything got shut down, I knew I needed to find something to keep myself uh, busy and um, uh, not go completely crazy. And so that's when I decided to revamp my on uh, my YouTube channel and make music videos for a living and show the world I, what I can do as a video editor, what I can do I, when it comes to picking songs for a particular character that I want to feature in the video. And some of them do take like one to two weeks to get done because it's a very long process, guys. It's not as easy as you think. And and nothing, I am so grateful that I have a thousand subscribers. Yes, congratulations. I never thought <laughs> I never thought it would get that far. I really thought I would only reach like 300 to 500, but what can I say? People like my stuff. So, so yeah. Yeah, congratulations. As you know, I'm a YouTuber as well. It's very hard to get to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, and, and also you get there with only 58 videos, which is a huge performance, you know. That means your videos are very doing very well. I can see here some of your videos doing 5,000 5, views, 8,000 views, 6,000 views. Uh, just awesome. And you did, and you do all these videos by yourself? I do everything by myself. The graphic designs, the song choices, the video editing. I do all of these on my phone. I don't have a computer or a desktop with me. I do this all on my phone. I do it by myself. And it's a one-man show, guys. It's a one-man show. And of course, in the future, I would love to have like a team with me in the future but now but i'm doing it just by myself for now yeah it's great and you're doing pretty well um i can see the most popular videos here you have this video um titled no humanity no humanity hope michaelson tribute demon's fate you have fifteen thousand views on that one um yeah that video uh no humanity hope She's from this TV show called Legacies, which is a spinoff of the Vampire Diaries, the originals. And she's also the father, I mean, she's also the daughter of Klaus Michelson. Mm -hmm. Hope, Hope is a daughter. And she's played by Danielle Rose Russell. So, so the goal of this channel, um, what I'm seeing, is you're trying to uh, review movies, right? Do movie reviews and then give a tribute um, to some people, um, uh, some of your favorite uh, people? Yes and no. I am actually watched like the movie or TV show that I'm doing a video of beforehand, uh, before I do the, the, before I do the video, mm -hmm. because I think, because I think by doing that, it would give me like a bigger, a bigger perspective, a bigger, um, what's the word? Help you understand uh, the storyline a, a much better idea on what i'm getting myself into okay so what are some of your favorite videos here on your channel that you really like this i like this one i am extremely proud of my tribute to michael myers the iconic slasher killer from the halloween films oh is that why particularly that video is that one did well or did just the work all the work, you, you know, the design you went through making that video. It's one of my best edited videos by far. So for, obviously you're doing, you know, it's a good start. Thousand subscribers, you, probably, the channel is, uh, you know, getting traction now. So for someone who want to get into YouTube, what would be your advice for them? How to get from zero to 1,000 subscribers? Just be yourself. Don't try and copy others. And if at first you're not getting a lot of views or a lot of likes on your videos, don't let that stop you. Don't let that discourage you. Let that motivate you to become better. Let that be, let that be a lesson on the, the views 
and likes are not everything. As long as you're satisfied with the video, that's really the, all that matters. Eventually, you'll start to um, see the numbers like increase. But if you're just starting and if you're a beginner, then just do the best you can and hope for the best. Right. Did you get... Uh, did you learn about YouTube? Do you get did you get some inspiration from other YouTubers that you follow and try to, um, you know, to learn, get inspiration? And what are some of your, what what are some of those YouTubers uh, you follow or you get inspiration from? Well, since I do music videos, I do watch other people's like um, chip videos as well on some other YouTube channels. And I actually do get a lot of inspiration um, from them. Mm -hmm. Honestly, there are some YouTubers that make um, these videos um, a little bit better, a little bit better than me. Mm -hmm. But but honestly, I am the best like person to make like music videos. Yeah, I recently I just I made a video, guys. You can check it on my channel. I made a video about how I get from zero to ten thousand subscribers. And one of the point was that you know first thing you need to you need to learn about YouTube, right? Like like you, you're making YouTube vi uh, music videos. You learn from other people doing the same, and uh, get inspiration. Learn about you know. Because YouTube, it's also a skill set, you know, right? You gotta develop this skill mindset of a YouTuber, and then um, the other part was uh, be consistent, right? I don't know how often do you upload. Do you go every week, every every two weeks? I always try my best to upload every week. Every week. I always try my best, yeah. but sometimes I kind of have to delay a video for being uploaded, like for three weeks or four weeks or God forbid a month. Yes. Because there was there was a time where my video editing software wasn't really working all that well. But thankfully now it's getting a lot better. And honestly, when it comes to these designs and when it comes to my videos at the end of the day is that no one taught me how to do all these things. I taught myself how to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's great. So you have that system in place. Try to upload every week. Um, so you learn about YouTube. You watch other YouTubers doing the same. And then, you know, because once you have that, you have a system, right? Because I can see, I don't know how how important is the thumbnails. You do, you do your own thumbnail design, right? I do. I do everything by myself. Yeah, which is great. So you have the thumbnail, the video coming in, being consistent. You're right. Don't focus. Up, don't try to, you know, to get discouraged by the views or by the subscribers because, you know, um, the only thing you have in control is to upload every week, try to create the best video possible, the best thumbnail possible. And uh, and then and then yeah, doing something you love, like you do music videos, and it is good. It's good. It's gonna start eventually growing organically. And then one thing, another thing that is great is the is the is the feedback. You have the audience feedback right now. Looking at your channel, you can see what all the videos were doing well, right? Yeah. You can just see them, and then you can do similar similar videos because those are getting. 10,000 views, 12,000 views, 15,000 views. So you can see that feedback. Oh, you know, this is what the audience uh, are, are looking for. So then you can keep creating more similar content and it's going to just grow organically. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah. So this is good. I like what you're doing here. It's just uh, it's a good job. Do you? Do you also do like editing and graphic design as a service for other people or you just do it for your own channel? I just do this for entertainment. I do this to, you know, entertain people. And I really just um, uh, love making these designs and making these videos for fun. That's great. That's great. Then we have your Instagram here, EJ's Madhouse. And any uh, do you have any comment here? You you've been meeting a lot of 
great people here. So my Instagram is called EJ's Madhouse. And on this page, I post some um, autographs that I've gotten from celebrities, pictures that I've gotten with celebrities, as well as my um, graphic designs, as and um, as well as uh, future videos that I'm going to be uploading to my channel as well. So how's the how's the experience meeting with, with celebrities? Are they usually nice? Meeting these some um, uh, celebrities, particularly MMA fighters, mm -hmm. they are some of the nicest people you will ever meet in your life. They are so chill, so calm and collected, so down to earth huge class acts and just people that we need more of in this world like yes we really do need more people like randy couture matt hughes could be norma gamedov yes and a lot of and even a lot of actors from my movies and tv shows that's true that's true it's very nice to meet someone like them with all their you know everything going on in their life seeing them down to earth being just nice human being um we need more love in in our planet earth we need more of that that's uh yeah i those, those pictures they're great they're great I, they look i like it we definitely need more love in this world instead of more hate because unfortunately that's Sometimes right. some people just like to reward other people for being so hateful, for being so negative all the time. Right. I don't know what it is. Like sometimes hate just gets clicks on social media. Um why not instead of trying to kill each other, try to hurt each other, why not try to heal each other, encourage each other? Why not just try to love each other? <laughs>